as always, thank you. Uh, I guess in a weird way, Dems are obviously very upset about this, but are they also sort of enjoying the ability to go on offense and change the conversation? I think that's a hard thing. Uh, to, I think it's a false equivalence, to be honest. I think it's hard to say that they're happy the conversation has changed over this. I think Democrats, by and far, are infuriated with this ruling today in Texas and are really trying to put out the stops to, to see how they can find a way around it and, and how lawyers like the ACLU can find a way to strike this down. Um, and, and I think at the same time, I mean, Afghanistan is not going away. It's going to continue, obviously, to be an issue, particularly as we're trying to continue to get Americans and Afghan allies out. And so both things are happening at the same time. Both things are, are issues that Democrats are very much concerned about. Yeah, you've done some great reporting in terms of just how concerned Democrats are about Afghanistan, how the president is kind of on an island here. Uh, this does give him, though, an opportunity to rally everyone under the big Democratic tent to be against the Texas law, right? I th maybe. I think we'll have to see how this happens. I think, I mean, we did see Jen Psaki today say during her press briefing that, uh, you know, the administration is definitely behind asking Congress to codify Roe v. Wade. Um, President Biden not mincing words when he said that he thinks that the Texas law undermines the Constitution and people's constitutional rights. And very much I do think that they're going to try and get the party to rally around this. Um, but again, it, it, I think that the issue of Afghanistan and, the, and this issue are two very separate things. Yes, there can be um, maybe the messaging and the airwaves. Like we are talking about this now on television. Right. And, uh, and We're not talking over. about Afghanistan. Yeah. Right. But at the same time, Afghanistan, it, it's going to continue to dominate the news for weeks to come. And so I think if Democrats are looking for this as a nice escape, it's not going to be one. Part of your reporting about Democrats who have split with the president, moderate Democrats over Afghanistan, especially those with national security backgrounds, have really been so critical of him about Afghanistan. Uh, is there any plan that you've heard of from the White House to try to bring them around and get people, get Democrats to defend the president on Afghanistan? Uh, certainly. I think one of the big talking points that we're going to be hearing, we're already starting to hear from Republicans, but we're going to continue to hear over the next several weeks, is trying to, to paint Democrats as, as thinking of the Taliban as an ally. And that's something that very much the administration wants to make clear that they do not believe. Yes, they had to negotiate with the Taliban to uh, get Americans and Afghan allies out of the country before the withdrawal date. But again, President Trump also negotiated with the Taliban uh, when he initially made the May 1st deadline to withdraw. And they're going to continue to remind people of this uh, and continue to say, look, we had to work with the Taliban. That doesn't mean that we don't think that uh, they might be a malign actor. We have to see, wait and see how they act moving forward. And so that's going to be a huge focus of the administration, as well as um, I think, you know, continuing to point to the number of people in the lead up to the withdrawal who had wanted to get American out of Afghanistan. That's yeah. a huge thing that they do have on their side that they're going to continue uh, to look to polls and, and whatnot um, as they continue to try to defend their actions here. Well, Elena, we appreciate your work in the last uh, week of summer and being with us. And as uh, things heat up uh, past Labor Day and some of the debates you're talking about uh, take place, we're going to have you back. All right. Thank you so much, Leland. Thank I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Great conversation. Well, folks in Louisiana are literally screaming for